Average motherfucking blows. Average blows. Competitive spirits. Happy day and what it do? Yes, sir. It's your boy K here. Look, being average at anything is never great. Being above average at everything, kind of makes you awesome. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I go by 3% Kai, and the 3 represents the percentage of the world that's identical twins. And of course, I'm still touching, smelling, hearing, seeing, and tasting the remnants of medication that somebody told me was supposed to calm me down. But what I got to complain <laughs> about? So we got somebody joining our conversations today. Sky, what it do, baby? <laughs> What's up, guys? How y'all doing? We oh, are right. doing great, and I'm happy that you're here. I appreciate that. Right. So well, I just want to say, hold on. Now oh. everybody uh, asks back, so thank you. Oh, yeah, right. They, they just let it go. They be like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. What up? Damn. <laughs> they don't care. I care. Wow. She, she, she's I changing care the about game. Your well-being. There we go. So um, if you are new to the show, listening or watching, first off, you're returning. We thank you. If you're new to the show, K and I, we are identical twins. Sky, for whatever reason, people think of identical twins, they think we can think the same thing. We can feel the same pain. <laughs> we think the same on occasion. However, K, I am stepping on my middle toe. Do you feel that? No, sir. All right, so we're not <laughs> feeling the same pain today. So I'm going to count the three. I'm going to say what's on my mind. I'm going to say what's on my mind. And Sky, I want you to say what's on your mind, too. Is Okay? Yeah. We're going to count to three. One. Two, three. Shades. Rollerades. <laughs> okay. What did you say? You ain't say nothing, did you? She said soccer moms? No. Oh. <laughs> I said mental health. Mental health. Ah, oh, oh, okay. 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 Well, that is, okay. Um, can you just be sure to talk it to the mic, Scott? Oh, sorry. All right. So, I mean, she got, she said what the topic is going to be today, but however- Ask, ask her again. Ask yeah, her again. I, I will ask her again. So, um, clearly, we are not having identical thoughts, but I assure you, Kay and I, we are identical twins, just not if someone was to examine our brain sizes, all right? Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. Anyhow, so, Sky, <laughs> once again, um, what are we going to be talking about today? Mental health. We are indeed. So I have well, Kai. Before you uh, say the the definition, I just I, I thought I should say out of respect for everyone that's here watching or maybe listening, today's topic is mental health. And while it's a very serious topic, we do try to find humor in all our conversations to make it more lighthearted and enjoyable for all. So this could be a potential trigger warning. If you see us laughing and or joking, we're not laughing at the topic at hand. We're just being ourselves. And Sky, if you don't know, that's the first time he's ever used that word correctly. Hey, I, I try, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Second word, goddamn. So mental health, a yeah, person's me. The, hey, a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. And I only seen one. So, do you have one? Yeah. Oh, it's the same one. Oh, all right, cool. I just I, I missed a word or two. <laughs> <laughs> that's what um the older bro is here for. Uh, okay. There you go. All right, so we good to jump in? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so according to NAMI.org, 42.6% of adults with mental illness received treatment in 2020. So here's my question. In your opinion, um, what is the most ineffective treatment for mental health? We're going to start with Sky. Ineffective. Uh, ineffective. Maybe uh, self-medicating. Mm. With, okay, self-medicating how? Is there a specific way you're saying it's ineffective? Well, you have to define what helps you so to get to the root. So to just guess at a whole bunch of different things without outsourcing for help, it wastes time, wastes resources, wastes your energy. Um, so then would so you say is, is the guessing that's ineffective? The guessing is ineffective. And also, you know, before I got a therapist, my self-medicating was... Wine nights. Uh, <laughs> hey. Yo, the, the way you said, I look about to say crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be judged. That's what she was thinking, I think. No, no. <laughs> Tequila, you mm. know, going out a lot, like, without, and not going out just to have fun, like, to live life, but to, like, avoid the issues that I would mentally be coming home to. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Respect. Respect. I appreciate that. Big up. Do you have <laughs> anything that you want to? No, I can't speak on like what's the most ineffective. Is that what it is? Yeah. Why? Because, why you say you can't speak on it? Because I don't know what all the options are. Like to, so I feel like I'll be doing everyone a disservice if I name something. I don't know everything that. But it's I, just like what's your experience. I mean, if you don't, that's fine. You don't have to say anything on it at all. I, I just, yeah, I just don't like. I mean, perhaps I would say the same thing like drinking or like self. Like she said, Medicated. like Sky said, I'm sorry, but yes, okay. goddamn, <laughs> that's my pronoun. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, well, damn, let's get it. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to answer a question for myself. Here's right. my opinion. Um, so this is from my experience, right? And um, it's it's similar to what I I feel like teachers, right, in that same realm. The most ineffective treatment is, um, in my opinion, a therapy and counseling with a therapist or a counselor who is just there for the money, mm -hmm. because um, from my experience, like when you're not dedicated to actually um, providing both people or one person with an understanding, then that's when, you know, hell starts to happen, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And 
I have a real life experience. Uh, me and my wife, we had go to counseling, right? And like this this therapist, and I'm not gonna shout them out, like so whatever. No, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, she asked like um, why I told her why we was there, like to get a better understanding of each other. Right, we're missing each other somewhere. That's beautiful. And I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that uh what came out her mouth was, all right, well, just let me know the problems and issues you guys are having, and that's like. Problems or issues, like I, I don't like those words. We not right. have no problems and or issues. We just trying to hit, get a better understanding for each other. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yo, wa- watch out for like certain words and stuff that your therapist or counselor uses. They might just be there for the check. You heard, uh, yeah. So it's definitely I've had that experience too. I actually was one of the people in that statistic that started and got a therapist at tw- in twenty twenty. Let's get it. I think like April or May of twenty twenty. I was like, mm, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, run me that yeah, shit. Yeah. So I went like on that. this um online site better help right because mm. it's like online therapy i use them too before you use them but i use it for the I text message wouldn't i wouldn't recommend for me <laughs> <laughs> i had a therapist and she i would was thinking about maybe not doing therapy anymore like that wasn't mm. my lane because she completely turned me off to it she and messed up your experience yeah for real she um she wasn't she wasn't saying she wasn't lgbt friendly but sh- the way that she was problem solving my problems with my then girlfriend was, in my opinion, it didn't feel, you know, you could just catch a vibe. Right, right, I right. I felt like she just didn't want it to work. Mm. And I was like, I'm not here to ask you if it if it should work or not. I'm here for you to help me figure out for myself right. if I want it to work, what I want to work, like how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling this way not a solution but like the root of the issue so i can find the solution right and i um so first of all i don't think that you should be going to um therapy to like for get answers a, yeah answer from them exactly and then uh secondly damn i'm kind of getting emotional so i, I we gotta we gotta skip Move. off this we gotta I, skip off this i got you, you got I some got okay you. Yeah, i hit you with a uh, with a misconception uh and again this is a misconception it's not normal to struggle Oh, definitely a misconception. Right, because mm-hmm. everybody struggles. Struggling is a part of life, right? Yeah. So, and any and everything you do, whether it's something as small as um, playing the game, you struggle on a certain level, or just um, acquiring a job or something like that. Yeah, everybody well, struggles. We're in any shades. I'm struggling seeing right now, but I know they look <laughs> dope. So I'm going to keep these shades on for the listeners. I got some cool-ass red shades. He said oh he is goodness. dedicated to the dope look. <laughs> <laughs> he said my shade game is crazy. It's no hate, no hate, no hate. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, so I, I'm ready to go back to what I was gonna say. There you I, go, there you go. Um, just uh, like so, you, you went with your partner. I uh, know I went from I went for myself. Okay. To figure out how I was feeling, because you know, 2020 in relationships was gonna make you or break you. Y'all were spending a lot of time <laughs> together mentally that you wouldn't spend in a lifetime. Right. Like you were going through things mentally that you couldn't go through in a lifetime. You know, I was scared to go outside and breathe on my family. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared I was going to catch a breath and kill my whole family off. Like, yeah. that's, what the, that's what the news was making me feel like. Like I felt isolated. I'm a social person. I was like inside and not myself and trying to figure out how to get back to myself so I could get back to my relationship so I could show up for my partner so I could show up for myself. But show, them that I show up for myself before I show up for my partner and where's the line and how do we balance all the mad shit. I was very confused and I was like, at, one t- at some point I was like, I can't figure this out myself. And, and I, I respect that, that you did that on your own. Like, yeah. I thought you, um, from what I heard, that you went there with your partner. Yeah. But you did that on your own to better yeah. the situation. I went, uh, me and my, my partner, we went together. Which I and, love. But no buts. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, however, the, the counselor or therapist, um, she started picking sides. Yeah. And that is a big no-no. Talk about issues. That is an issue. So if you're a therapist, don't pick sides, God damn it. Just give a different perspective. Yeah. There should be no judgment. And th- that's why it's so hard to find a really good therapist because ther- therapists are also humans. Right. Mm-hmm. And humans inherently, like, we have some type of preconceived judgment, notions, opinions, perspectives. So it's really hard to just be non judgmental a- in anything because they could be projecting, mm-hmm. picking sides, projecting on it. So you really have to be so diligent and so careful in finding out who you're going to take on with the journey with bettering your mental health because. It's a make or break situation, and that's um. And I think I have a question in there a little later, so I'll, I'll just stop and we'll come back to that, like picking therapists and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, um, the average delay between the on first off, all these things that I got from Nami.org, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, um, the average delay between the onset of mental illness symptoms and treatment is eleven years. So, I have another question. Mm-hmm. Um, I Wait, think can you uh, can you uh. Run it back. 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 Run it back.
I didn't, I didn't catch that one for hours. Yeah, no problem. Um, the average delay between the onset of mental illness symptoms and when people go to treatment is 11 years. So it takes people 11 uh-huh. years to actually get treatment. Yep. Um, so I, I think we can all easily conjure up ideas why it takes people uh, so long to seek, right? Mm-hmm. So I actually want to, I'm interested in the other side. Um, why the people who seek treatment immediately, why do you think that is? Mm. Damn, they might be more developed than I. <laughs> <laughs> and developed, you mean in terms of who they are? I mean, in terms, of, mean in terms of who they are, okay. yeah, because um, mental health, you know, this is this is something that you're you're feeling confused and lost and a lot of different things. You're feeling disconnected to yourself. Um, to feel the need to get help immediately means that you know that this is outside of yourself and that you're strong with who you are and that you just need to resource something to better you. Like if you had a broken leg, you do, you're not going to sit on the broken leg. You're going to go straight to the doctor because this shit hurts. You but, might not sit on a broken leg. Well, yeah, depending <laughs> on who. <laughs> yeah, right? There's people that they got That's broken things they don't thing. know right. it's broken. But, I'm sorry. No, no, you're 100 percent correct. But, but for me, in in terms of how I would think about it, if I had a broken leg, I would go to the doctor. You know, if I have something broken inside of me, like I'm gonna sit there and judge myself for having something broken inside of me and not want to go get treatment. Yeah. So I I would say uh, it could also be that like maybe they've seen it before, like their parents or someone was Mm. going through it, or somebody else they know or care about. So they've seen it. So when it happened to them, then it was like, all right, I probably should take care of this. Yeah. Yeah. And I had something similar to that, yeah, uh, like second dealing with it second hand, right? Second oh, yep, hand account. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, definitely. And then for me, I think just the the natural thing I go to is finances. They oh, in a financial 100%. space to afford. Because like mm. I said, you said um, you're not sponsoring us, but better help. Um, I used uh, they had a, <laughs> a, a they had a text option. I couldn't yeah. afford the other option, so yeah. I did the text option, <laughs> and it's not the way to go. No. It's, Texting the whole me thing, back, bro. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend discounted mental health. You know, I would invest in mental health. I'm investing right now, and it's honestly like the best thing I did for myself. And my therapist is my homie. Like she is, is the Uh-oh. homie. Uh-oh. Sometimes I forget that I pay her to talk to me. Oh hell no! Because that's <laughs> that, that's a kind of a very good therapist. Though. Oh, no. oh that, they feel like a homie, right? No, well, when you like, don't feel like you're paying them, it's like, oh shit, wait, this is not natural. No, I mean, you paying me for. For this time. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, I, I am paying good money for the time. <laughs> Hold on, so, so to that, I, I do want to say, because it can be like, uh, you don't necessarily have to have a therapist, right? Like you can, it could be somebody like that, just just talking, just just letting off steam, somebody who's- That's uh, where it starts. Huh? The talking is where well, it Well, but starts. yeah, it don't necessarily have, because I don't want to like, so for people out there to think that they have, if they don't have a therapist, then they're, they're not- Getting that form of therapy that they need, but when when I say um, when I say therapist, I'm not necessarily talking about a professional that you gotta pay for. I'm well, just talking. So about, that's what I was trying to make okay. clear. I was trying to yeah. distinguish that. Like it don't necessarily have to be paying. A However, professional. the reason why people do go is just because these people are trained, and like the the average person, they're not gonna like if I just go to you, like you might not be equipped to handle what I got or to like help me get a better understanding. Also, he he has a preconceived notion about you. He has a perception about you. You know, he loves you like you're his brother. You know, you assuming those are assumptions right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the good one, God damn it. I know he loves you. So the off with his head, God damn it. <laughs> I know he loves you. I do. Any more? Uh, I love you too, bro. Any more? Um, and I love, but can the I just say Go real ahead. quick on Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, how important it is for men to tell each other that they love each other because it rarely happens. I feel like it's really hard for men to be comfortable being uh, emotionally vulnerable right and to tell your bros that you love them is a beautiful thing it doesn't mean some it doesn't mean less than or more than for you it's just simply like it's, it's power it's power and, and i would you dad our dad bro like he just started saying um i love you and how he was how he says it oh. <laughs> you always gotta oh, include some it. shit like yeah, so yeah, he'd be yeah. like yo yo kai i love you um make sure you punch k in the face for me yeah, right, right, <laughs> yo. Right. okay i love you uh get kai in the headlock when you see him right hey, yo, baby bro. steps <laughs> <laughs> baby steps we yeah you're there. doing better yeah <laughs> D- did you want to get this out, okay? Uh, I get into uh, another misconception that uh, mental health struggles are inevitable, so there's nothing you can do. I mean, we're talking about things you can do, right. so obviously that is a misconception. There's always something that you can do. Well, I don't say always. I mean, I guess sometimes it can be too late. No, nope, you can always. If you're six feet always. under. Always. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, always. hey, I, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, damn. <laughs> He's like, oh, you come back from the dead, goddamn it. <laughs> you pay the right person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, Can't you say her therapist offers that service? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I, I wasn't ready for that one. I wasn't ready oh, for that did, one. did you want to get something off, mm. uh, Sky? I can't remember after he made jokes. All right, All right yeah, my fault, but <laughs> it was the <a> jokes. <laughs> I do want to get something off because it's uh, fucking up my mentals right now. Let's get it. Um, 
Big gulp of water. <sighs> Small gulp of water. Okay. Um. The, so like our last or two, episodes, two ago. episodes ago. Oh. Th- yep. This, that twin telepathy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yep. Oh. See. Shoot. <laughs> now the math is math. <laughs> <laughs> the math is math. You could have said the twin is twinning, but um, <laughs> I like that too. No. Our, our two episodes ago, we uh a brief. We had a brief conversation about pro black, right? Mm-hmm. And Kai, like after the show, Kai noticed that I kind of got visibly uncomfortable mm-hmm. because I, my wife is Dominican, mm-hmm. right? So, and as I thought about it, like why I get uncomfortable is because, like, so anytime I had conversation with people when they when pro black comes up, it's like they use it in a like a negative way, like they're telling me that like I'm almost like I'm less than because I'm not dating a a black person, right? Mm-hmm. And I am black, and like for me, I do have a problem with that because. Like, if I asked you or you, if you're pro-life, what would you say? Pro-life? Yeah. Yeah. You're pro-life? Yeah. And what does that mean to you? That means I'm pro-human rights. I'm pro-everybody doing whatever they want to do, whatever floats your boat. Just okay, so but in, so the caveat you said human, like, right? So, I mean, animals, they're living beings. Well, not beings, but they live, right? They have a life. They're, and and insects. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. Well, let me tell you something. Go ahead, go ahead. If an animal dies in a movie, it's over for me. <laughs> <laughs> if a person Wait, dies so, in a movie, so when Mufasa died, it was over. <laughs> it depends on the person. So when Mufasa died, it was over. I think well, it was over for everybody. God still, damn it, it's still over. <laughs> it's still, I'm, I'm triggered. I'm currently, currently triggered by this conversation. If I break out into tears, it's K fault. We got yeah, K to blame. Yeah. With the hyena say, Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. <laughs> but, but no, yeah. Um, back to the the, the pro black thing. I don't know. Like so, that's why like I, I do get uncomfortable because. It does feel like when they're saying, because I think even the guest that we had on, her name was Alyssa, mm-hmm. when she started talking about being pro-black, it's like, uh, you need to love your sisters. and, and But it's like, well, everything that she was naming, it seemed like she was saying, I don't do those things currently just because my wife is Dominican. She's not black. And that's like that's why I get uncomfortable a little bit in those conversations, just because when, when people say it, in my experience, it's always like a negative thing. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not pro-black because you're not. Di- but like, whoa, whoa, you don't you don't know what it means to me. Right. Things can mean different things to different people. 100%. I'm, huh? Yeah, people. When people say pro black, it's not anti anything else. But some people who say pro pro black have hurt struggles that they've been through that they can project. But, right. You it, know. But also, I'm, I'm a fool. I don't know. I'm, I'm going for no, a no, long go time go here. But um, cause like I've never I like and it probably does go on people who do say it. But I've never heard anybody say like pro Indian. I never heard somebody say pro just any other race. But you know why you don't have to, you, that's you don't not a thing. You don't have to say it because yeah. they're doing that already. Right. Pro white, pro everything. They're staying within their race already. So that's why you don't hear that. I'm, yes, and like, and like, like there is no. I don't know what happened. Well, I'm saying you said they're like they're doing that already. They're staying within their race, but yet here I am married to a Dominican woman. Mm-hmm. She's Dominican. She's staying within her race. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know that 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 comment right there kind of something. Huh? It doesn't make you any less black. No, I know it don't make. Yeah. I'm just saying like so. And and my experience with it, it seemed like people were trying to make me feel less than because right. I'm not dating a, a black woman. I, and I understand that. I can't say um from like I haven't experienced people saying that to you, so I don't know what their tone was like or anything. However, in just having the conversation, pro black is like pro procreation. Are you producing? Are you procreating? With with a black person. If you're pro Spanish, are you producing with a Spanish person, Mexican, whatever? That's all it is. You can still be not pro black, but advocate for pro black. Like, and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not less than. You here, you are. You're my brother. You're not less than. Uh, I'm not. I'm, that's 100. percent I know I'm not. Uh, yeah. So, and relating but, to mental health. Go, what? What was this? Oh, this and it was because that's my weighing on my <laughs> mind. It, I, I need to get it. I okay. need to get it out because if I didn't, who knows? The next person I seen that said pro black, I would have punched him in his at, face. But look, but look at you venting. Like <laughs> this is a therapy session. <laughs> I mean, kind of is. Well, yeah. Comfortable with <laughs> the, us, the, the, right? I mean, the pod is therapy for me. I get yeah. the, that's why. That's why I also made that comment about um, you don't necessarily need to pay a professional because this is therapy for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can say what I want. I'm in my happy place. Yeah. Right. So, Therapy doesn't have to be even, you know, it could be working out, it could be right, listening right. to music, it could be... Hold on, but hold on, don't, don't keep on giving those just because I, um, you will get a bill later, sir. I will bill your ass. <laughs> I, who, me? Yes. We working out your... We working out... <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna say that word, but we working out what you got going on, your challenges, God damn it. Oh, you ain't work, I love that. You ain't work, right. on, you ain't work out shit. I, I just got it off my chest and I worked it out myself. No, nah, but I, I know, I feel like there's other... I know I'm not the only person who feels that way. And uh, you're not alone, God damn it! I don't it, pro black. It can mean whatever you want it to mean for yourself. And you say no. What's the definition of pro black that you know of? Just just creating with is pro anything is procreating with what that is. So what you are procreating with what you are. Because your successes, like I mean, I don't want I don't go too deep in it because it is mental health. However, is your um your mental has it been stimulated or <laughs> that's that's a yo. 
only because I was about to spit out my water. So oh. like, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's funny. Okay, we, I mean, we, we can move it along, but All I, right. I need to get that off my chest. This is Respect, not a word. brethren. It's not a word. Uh, ripple effect as it pertains to mental health, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so people with depression have a 40% higher risk of developing... Uh, this word I struggle with. Cardiovascular. Who, who said Cardiovascular. That Ooh. word and metabolic diseases than the general population. Mm. Um, so here's the question. Well, first off, um, why? Why would we think that is? Uh, what, which part? The whole thing? Uh, why people um, who deal with depression, mm-hmm. why, why are they 40% at higher risk for these things? Well, people who are depressed are, I can only speak for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh have a harder time taking care of themselves. Right. And I think that was like, that's the, the so the why didn't, wasn't that important to me. It is important, but I thought that's where we all was. Are you there too? What? That you, like people who are depressed, they don't take care of themselves and that's why they had a higher risk. I don't for, say they don't take care of themselves, but they don't do the best job at taking care of themselves. They're going time. through, they're going through they something. Time. Right. It takes something. more. So they just sleep in instead of going to the doctor or something like that. Who knows what they're doing? Yeah. Anyhow, so here's the real question. Um, once again, that was important. I'm sorry if I made you feel um, like it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> so we, so, because they said the general population and people who are dealing with depression, that's the 40%. And then everybody who is not dealing with depression is the um, general pop- uh, general population. Mm. I'm not dealing with depression currently. Are you? Always, yeah. Always. Okay. Uh, so I'm not, you can still try to answer this question. Okay. Um, so, because I'm saying we as the general population, people who aren't dealing well, with depression. Well, you didn't depression. ask me. Wait. Are you dealing with depression? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> but well, ask you want to be asked. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. hell yeah. You want to be included. I made a good assumption, <laughs> yeah. goddammit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. what can we do to help those who may not even know they're suffering from depression? So you could answer this. Mm. I think uh, just creating a space for people to feel comfortable to, to talk about it in general. What's it? Oh, depression? Yeah, depression, yeah, depression yeah. Okay. anxiety, mental health issues in general. Just creating a space where it feels like it, like it would be safe to speak on it and that's not saying that jokes don't come around it because trust me i use me and my family use humor to deal with everything right and like that's not disrespect it's cope we cope we use coping mechanisms like dave chappelle is one of my favorite comedians of all time and he this morning I, didn't. I love him and he just he makes things jokes but they're still respectful and intellectual to me when i watch it Fair. like I like, and I feel better when he makes jokes about like anything mental health or whatever the case may be. Like, it's you you have to understand it to make jokes about it. Um. So when 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 Sky just got here, I told her something that she didn't necessarily um remember. Right. I said that uh before a Sky, uh, I think that she's um a deep person, and I wasn't ready to have conversations with her. I think that that's. Some people, and I don't want to speak for everybody, but when they listen to Dave Chappelle, like especially when they're part of the the community that he attacks, mm-hmm. um, they're just not ready to receive that message. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's my opinion. You got to be ready to receive a message. Uh, I think that there are so many layers about so many different things inside of um, the communities in which people joke about that it's always going to offend somebody because everybody has a different perception of the situation. Right. Me, for myself, being in the LGBT community, having anxiety, having depression, um, I think it's a poetic and beautiful thing to find humor in it um because it helps me deal with it Mm -hmm. so you're making a something super dark i don't think that you're disrespecting me i think that you're making it lighter for me to deal with right respect and um so casey said she like um create like a a safer place to um, talk about these things what would be uh if you had a solution be your solution i feel underprepared uh, okay, because yeah. I, I I don't know. Okay, and that's I fine. Because that's I, important I did, too, though. What? When like you when don't you know don't, something, say yeah. It. yeah. Don't just try say. to say some. Oh no, shit. yeah. I mean, I always be authentically me. If I don't know, I'll say that. But I just feel like maybe I should. No, nah, I no, because I I've dealt with depression myself. Right. Uh, I don't know what year. I don't know. But yeah, I, and I don't know what could have been done for me to not go through what I was going through. Mm. Yeah. So it's it, it, that is hard for me to uh, answer. Well, Chikai. I think um, it starts with being the best version of your, uh, yourself. And I'm talking about the people who are not dealing with the depression. Because you said, oh, like, okay. create a space. But how are you going to know to create a space if you're not the best version of yourself, right? Yeah. And um, I think uh, being self-aware. I think self-awareness is probably one of the most valuable attributes that a person can have. Right. When you are self-aware, you're, it, it enables you to be alert, empathetic, just all those things. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's it, it, like I always say, you guys heard it a million times. It took me 29 years to get to where I am today. So I know it's going to take some people a while. But um, if you can practice being the best version of yourself daily, please do it. And you will create that space for people to um, talk or to feel like they can go somewhere to like 
uh be heard or yeah, be just themselves. help them right yeah i don't think it's even about like creating a space to make people like overcome depression i just think it's a creating a space so people feel comfortable working their way through it themselves you know because it's 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 a rooted thing the only person that's going to be able to really do change is yourself. Right. right. But to be in an environment that, that enables you to be able to do that stuff, it's like who you surround yourself with, what you listen to, what you watch, what you read, all that stuff makes a difference. And so I call it my front row. Like, you know, Nana, Kiana, Dom, like everybody that is in my front row. Like, these are people that lift me. Mm-hmm. and then, How do you even look at your camera and say those names? God damn it. <laughs> they want to hear those names. Don't shut them I, up. Because I don't want to be name shouting and not oh. being all the names, you know, there. Oh, I, I was so just, just say some of the names, names look down, that gotcha. we all know each other, <laughs> you know. Shout out to everybody who's in my front row knows very specifically that they're in my front row because I tell my people I love my people all the time. Um, who, who's, in your, who's in your back row? Irrelevant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know for a reason. Yeah. Irrelevant information. And just quick, like, how she just said, um, like, so yeah, depression is not is not a problem. I think it's just a part of life. Mm-hmm. Like, you will deal with it. So yeah, it is important to just make it more normal. Like, it's okay to have these conversations on a regular because yeah. it's just a part of life. Yeah, We're gonna all be. die at some point. That's just a part of life. Uh, it shouldn't be something that like. Like is like taboo to talk about. Like that's that's the another issue. It's like yeah, I have it. What what's that got to do with the price of rice, my guy? Like, because <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as I want to say, as the world becomes a little softer, people do feel like they gotta like tap dance around certain conversations. Well, yeah, that's, but a, that's a whole I don't other know that gets us to the taboo itself. thing if we yeah. just talked about it openly more than but, we can okay. avoid that. So um, I just jump into something else because we talking about taboo stuff, right? So um, the game. Nah, I, know, I, just, I love that game. By the way, <laughs> oh, beast, master beast. Um, but um, on a more serious note, <clears throat> suicide is the second leading cause of death among people aged ten to thirty-four in the U.S. We're talking about taboo, right? So how can we untabooify? If that's a word, make that up. Um, that that subject, suicide. Start so, starting with Sky for the listeners. Maybe, you know, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, education. Mm. From a younger age, you know, when you said 10 years old, honestly, that's that's sad, right? Sad. Right. That's really sad. Um, I would have to say, like, if more people, again, talked about it more openly and discussed it as it's becoming an issue, like maybe that should be in some type of like mental health curriculum. I mean, I really believe that mental health curriculum should be in schools. And maybe that's something that, you know, you can be openly talking about because the thought is separate from who you are. Right. It's not, that is outside of you. That is not you. That is something else trying to infiltrate the system. As if you can recognize that they are two separate entities and that this is just something that you have to over, this thought is something that you have to overcome and that's not who you are and that's not the end goal, then you can attack that problem that way instead of internalizing it. But that takes so much work. It does. It definitely does. You, uh, when you you said the thought is not who you are, is that just like you're saying specifically to um, you can have like a, suicide, a suicidal thought? Yeah, yeah. suicidal yeah. Oh, thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That 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 thought is is out of space. That's so outside of you. That is something that in the mental health world, it's a mental illness that results in something like that can be worked on, but sometimes it feels like the end. But if you can separate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because um, like, so when you say like it's so outside, right? Like I, because I also don't think cause how I just said, right? Death is a part of life, mm-hmm. like right. So I don't think that is nothing is wrong with having that thought. I'm a person like I don't know if you guys experienced this before, but like I would in certain relationships, right? I'd be like, damn, I wonder what happened if I die. How these all people? How they gonna react when I die? Yeah, who's like, coming to my funeral being fake? Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> not the fake part. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can laugh. Oh, I'm just saying she identifies as she, so you, you right on, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, I think that's a, like it's, it's, uh, they are two the thought and then like to take the action and stuff. Yeah, two separate things. But exactly. I don't want if you have the thought, nothing is wrong with having that thought. I think that is normal. It's just how you deal with having the thought. How what what? I mean, I, hopefully you don't take action. You know that thought action. But um, okay, K, did you? I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> uh, you, you getting choked up? No, I'm not getting choked. Oh. I got I got. I, I can say oh, something. I, I, love, I got I things love that, for days. that emotional check in. Come, <laughs> Come on. Shit, I'm doing beautiful. something right there. Yeah. 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 She <laughs> trying to see a tear live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> I think I would just have to agree with uh, 
I was I would say with Sky, I mean, I, I think it's a common theme here. Just like these things, th- I guess they have to be talked about more, right? Make normalize it to a well. Is that I'm not? Yeah, am I missing? Oh, yeah. The conversation. Yeah, because yeah. you know if you you're not talking about it, then people feel like they can't talk about it, and right. that is a problem. Then like tippy toe, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Straight like that. So do uh doing doing research on this topic, right? I came across an article published by the unr.edu, right? And I saw something interesting. <laughs> Um, it said, uh, when people die by suicide, the language that they use when someone asks how they die, they say that person committed suicide. Mm -hmm. And they don't use that language with any other type of death. Like, somebody died by cancer, cancer, right? So, if you die, like, let's say someone committed suicide by drowning. If someone asks how that person died, you can just say drowning. You don't got to say committed suicide. Mm -hmm. So, I think it kind of starts there, Mm -hmm. like... Because committed is something that we use like, like for crimes. Crime, right. Yeah. So like is it a crime to have mm. a mental illness? You know, I didn't actually I never thought about that until this very moment. But I just right. got the chills, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought about like that until just now and you're you're right. But this is what I'm talking about, like the language around in which we talk about mental health. See it's it's like a disability and it's not. It's definitely not a disability. I think that people who have mental like mental health illnesses like anxiety and depression these are deep people right these their their feelings are deep they're going they always be going through some type of shit like they're w- strong individuals that have to go through life working a little bit harder mentally than the general population that doesn't have to mm-hmm. to ha- to get the same results and because <clears throat> i didn't uh, so respect to what you just said mm-hmm. and i didn't give um a solution my solution like in terms of normalizing it board games like um on on tv shows like yes have that in there we this should be some not like suicide board games but in a board game like monopoly or something that could be an option or something like that just, just making it more normal goddamn right 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 but we are uh, uh approaching our 30 for 30 kai tell them what that is it is important for you guys to know whether you are an art student, a musical artist, Joe Smo from down the street, anybody who has a design, shit, even if you have an idea that you want on a shirt, sweats, book bag, tennis racket, whatever, our guy, Fly Basics Floyd, right, he will take care of you and he'll get it done the right way. He does screen printing, vinyl, I think embroidery coming soon, right. I don't know. However, even if you don't have a design of your own and you constantly find yourself struggling to put together a decent outfit... He got merch, god damn it. Merch. And his logo is similar to Frank's hot sauce. And when I say that, mm. I mean that shit goes on anything. Yeah, All period. Right? So when it comes to outfits, you don't even have to try. Because Fly Basics is the absolute simplest way to get fly. All prices are negotiable, so remember to let him know Average Blow sent you, and he might do something for you, god damn it. Now we are um, at the 30 for 30. With the 30 for 30 years, guys, are your honor segment. This is where we um, simulate a courtroom-like setting where I'm going to be the prosecution. He's going to be the defense. We're going to argue our cases. There's going to be an opening statement, the heart of the case, and then our closing statements, right? I like to refer to this as the gym, seg- uh, the gym class of this show because we, like, we spend a lot of time academics, knowledge. Mm-hmm. Now this is where I can get competitive and uh, bust K's ass. K is important to know. These are not our personal views, thoughts, and or opinions. Just another way for us to channel our inner competitive spirit in a positive manner. And since we have a guest here today, Sky, you will be our honorable judge. So it will be your obligation to find me either guilty or not guilty. If I am not guilty, that means you agree with me. If I am not guilty, or if I am guilty, I said not guilty twice. I'm trying to uh, put the plenty <laughs> right, right, right. right. If, I, if I am guilty, then that means you agree with Kai. And it is important, like, to know you should just judge our arguments based off what we present. Don't come in like you know you have you're a very knowledgeable person. Leave those thoughts at home. So without further ado, <laughs> here we go. On today's docket is mental health fake. I am going to be the prosecution, so I am arguing yes, <clears throat> quite in the courtroom. Your Honor, the distance from the top or the surface to the bottom of something, that is the definition of depth. I will guarantee you that the defense will not go into depth while defending his position. He will rely on the surface. What is the surface? Mental health, the word. While the word itself is real, is every mental health case real? No. That is my position. So, Your Honor, I'm not sure if you can swim or not, right? However, ain't no need to worry because the defense will keep you on the shallow end. And I do apologize for that. So, uh, think about that, and I turn it over to the defense. Your Honor, today will be a short yet effective argument for me. 
I will prove that mental health is not fake, and I'd like for you to tread lightly as the prosecution may or may not be battling with his mental health. So excuse some of what he says, and i like to turn it over to the prosecution at this time. I appreciate that, but I don't appreciate it at the same time. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to call the defense uh, to the stand at this time. Yeah, thank you. Um, perjury. Um, we good on that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Are are we good on yes, purpose, sir? sir? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to ask you one question and one question only, and I expect you not to perjure yourself. Is that fair enough? Yep. All right. So um, when something becomes trendy or mainstream, is it true that opportunity for people to take advantage is also created? Yes. You can remove yourself from the stand. <clears throat> At this time, I like this to be stamped onto the record. Since the start of COVID, and this is according to bc.edu, they report a 65% increase in mental health cases. If you remember during this same time, some would refer to it as the heart of COVID, right? Uh, the government was giving out handsome checks for unemployment and people with disabilities and a slew of other things. Your Honor, that sounds like opportunity to me. Think about that. I turn it over to the defense. Thank you. I'd actually like to call the prosecution to the stand at this time. Your boy is here. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. All right. I'm going to ask you a question or two, and I would like you to be as honest as possible, okay? Will do. Great. Do you know who Ben Simmons is? I do. All right. You can remove yourself from stand, actually. <laughs> so ben Simmons, is a ba- <laughs> ben Simmons is a basketball player who played for the Sixers. He's since been traded to the Nets and haven't played for over about a year now. I can almost bet he wished that mental health was fake, as he's been reportedly battling some mental health things himself. Mental. Involves the mind, and anything that's in his mind is relative to his mental health. I'd like to turn it over to the prosecution. Your Honor, it's important to know we are now getting to our closing statements. <laughs> <clears throat> Your Honor, I'm very intentional. In fact, I think you'd be able to admit without biting your bottom lip that I took a deep stroke into intentionality while presenting my case. Right? Work injuries are real. But not every injury that is claimed to have happened at work is real. <laughs> smell like opportunity here's the definition of fake and um defense if you want get your phone ready and look at the definition so you don't come crying to me after the fact all right fake not genuine or counterfeit you don't have to be genuine when you are taking advantage of something or someone mental health the word is real however there are a there are disgenuous people claiming to suffer from mental illness your honor when the defense is done skipping rocks in the shallow end of the lake he's playing in, I'm asking you to drop him in the deepest depth of guilty verdict there is. <laughs> I rest my case. Seems like a lot of animosity over there, sir. Um, <laughs> Your Honor, I'm surprised we made it this far. Now, I wasn't going to let the prosecution slide. Uh, is mental health fake? That's what we're arguing today in this courtroom, all right? So uh, at the top of the show, the prosecution read the definition. Now, I, I like his wordplay. Uh, he's going to say the word. The word is real. And all right. I like that. I like that. Well, Hamgosh. Hamgosh. You both kind of look confused because that's a fake word, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not real. Therefore, I mean, th- I feel like I need to say no mas. I rest my case. Your Honorable Judge Sky, when it comes to case innocence, how do you find him? You know how difficult this is for a Libra who battles both sides. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, guilty is. Guilty means you you agree with him. Oh, was I not finished? No, no, no. Oh. I'm asking. But I just want to make sure <clears throat> before I make a decision. When you when you make your decision, just for dramatic effect, can you say, "K, I find you"? <laughs> just for dramatic effect. <laughs> <sighs> this is tough for me. <laughs> nah, on the subject with me leaving my thoughts at home. All right. <laughs> K, I I find you guilty. Ooh. Hey, please, please, please meet us in the comment section. Remind K how guilty he is or K. You can type out retrial in the comments because Sky <laughs> is on the homgosh, right? <laughs> now, uh, Sky, would you like to um, say, tell the people how you came to that verdict? Um, 
the issue is real. I, I would like to believe that people don't take advantage of issues as such. Um, but that's just not, um, that's just me wanting the world to be a better place. Right. Um, when finance is involved and people need money or want money, uh, or where money is the root of a situation in which it could be easy to attain if you had said mental health issues, then, yeah, I see mad people taking advantage of the opportunity that doesn't have anything to do with the issue not being real. So essentially, essentially, outside of the courtroom, <laughs> <laughs> you could both sides are real. They right. said, man, <laughs> we don't want to hear that shit. I'm in jail for life. <laughs> and what she was saying is basically what I said um, earlier, just about like in the ineffective um, treatments, like just uh, therapists who's you know, the root, they just want money. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, they're not going to be um, good at their job. But just also people, for whatever reason, take advantage of any type of opportunity. They will. I, I'm, I'm not talking to you, whoever you are. I'm not talking to you. But somebody will take advantage of mental illness and use it as a means to either get money or to not work or something like that when they, they're not necessarily battling with anything. Yeah. Um, I will say that the, the best way to pick a therapist is the same way that you would pick love, a partner, is that... You, some you're if you see somebody to, with a fat ass, is that? <laughs> hey, it's, a, it's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a definite plus. But what I was gonna say, my bad, was your partner should remind you not that they're fifty percent of your hundred, but that you're a hundred percent, and they're taking you to another level. That you're whole, all on your own, and that they're adding, and you're le you're leveling up together. Same thing with a therapist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you to just pause like that. Baby, I want you to say those words to me. <laughs> I want to hear it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, but I, and I know he didn't let you finish. Um, so, like, I just came across, like, something, and I wasn't ready for this before, but there's something like, um, do you marry, or it's poor people marry for love, and um, wealthy people um, marry for business decisions. I didn't understand that before. I wholeheartedly understand that now and you kind of just said it without even saying it i don't know if you even agree with what i just said but that the person shouldn't look at you as 50 that they're going to take you to another you're 100 they're going to take you to another level yeah you're at home to me that is a business decision when when you it's just love you're worried about the the fat ass or the looks you're not you're not looking at the whole picture no it's a partnership they're a reflection of you you're a reflection of them but at the at the end of the day you're a whole person by yourself and they're they're coming to add to that, just like with a therapist. The therapist is not there to tell you that you're not a whole person or that you're broken or, and there's solutions or whatever. They're there to remind you how whole you are, and how to practice self love so that you could take care of yourself. And no one therapist, friends, whoever, parents, siblings, no one can ever tell you not to be with someone. No, it's up to you to, to are you willing to compromise enough to be with that person? It's a you thing. No one, I don't think it's fair for anyone to tell you that you can't be with a person, but they can remind you, look, you said you're going to compromise this way, and they can hold you accountable and say you, you haven't been doing these things. Mm -hmm. Facts. Except for everybody's in my wife D, uh, DMs. You cannot <laughs> be with her, God damn it. Uh, it is mine. But, uh, so uh, uh, I would like to get into this uh, segment called Finish This. Now, Sky, what this is, I'll read a little story, and then I'll ask for you to finish it, all right? <laughs> oh damn! You, do you not want to finish the story? I'm scared. I just the anxiety. Have, I, 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 yeah, there's you. You well, see uh, it. The, you feel it. I, I didn't feel it. I, 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 um, the deep breath. Well, read the room. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, mean, I was still on when she said, "Uh, uh yeah, one hundred percent. We're gonna take it to the next level." And I was, I was experiencing that next level in my head. God damn. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, the story goes like this: Moon had a lot of things she's been through in her life. Yeah, she was the most popular and successful she's ever been. But her jars of inner thoughts, memories, and feelings was about to explode. One day, her friend Star gave her her therapist number in case she ever felt like she needed to let some things out. In Moon's view, she would lose cool points if people found out she had issues and was seeing a therapist. But her jar was overflowing. Should she keep on pushing through or make that phone call? She ultimately decided to finish this. Can I just say I think that this that this sounds more like a conversation between two men than two women. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh wait, oh well, a man wrote the story. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> I think that's I what she was think, pointing out, guys. I oh. just think that that <clears throat> it wouldn't be as um, embarrassing for a woman to say that she's going to go see a therapist. I think that men, um, is, like mass with masculine energy, have a harder time coming to terms with that because society doesn't really paint a picture where that's a strength. 
But we do here at Average Blows, goddamn it. Straight sure like do. that. Mm-hmm. Straight sure like that. Do. And you know, uh, actually, I'm not gonna get into it because can I get into a quote then? Um, yeah. All right. Hit. Sorry. Did you want to get into something else? Well, I never finish a story. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let her finish her spill, <laughs> sir. <laughs> huh? I'm excited. You well, see? I don't know. I don't know. I would say, but then she looked within herself and decided that the best decision for her was to see a therapist. There you Good. go. Look My bad. Trying no, to cut no. off the story. She no, didn't was, even finish this. Thank you for finishing this. When she said the um the, the two <laughs> nah, minutes. you no, forget no, these lumps. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's her saying, yeah. Uh, F this shit. <laughs> Why are you just saying fuck this shit? You acting like you, you never cursed before, sir? Uh, uh, that's right. I do. Yeah, fuck this shit. There's power in that, goddamn. I hear is the quote. Damn. <laughs> Yo, God, hold on. You like look both ways at. Like, he looked at me for validation that he could say Not it. Not necessarily validation, but just gotta. Uh, I'm trying to read the room. Yeah. All right? <laughs> shit. All right, we cool on this quote? Yeah. All right. I am. And I did ask for validation there. We cool on the yeah. quote? <laughs> All right, so. um. <clears throat> Every story I create creates me. I write to create myself. Octavia E. Butler. Let me just let that uh, sink in real quick. Yo, the way you said the name, I thought that was part of the quote. Yeah, can you say it? Well, <laughs> yeah. I thought how we started it. But can, can, you, can you say it one more time? Every story I create. Let me put my voice on. <clears throat> no, it was good. I just like to hear things twice. Yeah, so I'm going to get my good voice It's only right if I say. Uh, <laughs> Run it back from the tippy. <laughs> Every story I create creates me. I write to create myself. Author Octavia E. Butler. H- how are we feeling about that, guys? That's deep. That is. <laughs> I, oh. Like, I just feel like I need so much time to process that. <laughs> Can, you seem like you want to say something right away. What's up? I was going to say it's good. Uh, she said it's deep. I was like, oh, I see it's deep. It, it seems surface level. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's like all your experiences define you, but you get to decide how it, for- how it forms you. It's kind of how I'm perceiving. No, I, yes. I perceive it the same way. I just need to throw a joke because I've been missing. No, the, I, I've been missing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think you were hitting. You think you, okay. <laughs> and she, before the, before we even went live, you were hitting. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. She's here to uplift. Yeah. Say, I'm going <laughs> to hit one of those and why she don't mean hitting like that? Trust me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I read the room. Oh, shake the room. Oh, sorry. Oh, r- real quick though, I do want to um, give a shout out to um, uh, the Twins subreddit on Reddit. Y'all been holding us down. I'll be putting clips in there and... um. I like some of the perspectives on the last one. With um, I used to call K uh my little brother um until he because I looked at it as little and younger was interchangeable to me. Mm-hmm. Um and then he explained to me like why he don't like that and I never thought about that before. Mm-hmm. And um there was some great perspectives in the twin subreddit. So shout out to y'all. I'm posting some more clips in there. God damn it's it, great like that. And come over to the ABCS community, baby. Oh, yeah, right. We got a lot of things for y'all. But I want to get into uh so Sky. I'm somebody who watches uh, Animal Planet and Discovery Channel because mm-hmm. I believe we can learn a so lot of animal. I'm sorry. You have cable. Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I got internet. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I got not it too. The plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was out here looking for a come up, huh? I, was just, I don't know anybody with cable. So. That, is, that is the first, uh, like, that kind of reaction I got. Oh, so you got cable. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that was, that's a good um, observation, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, I haven't seen that since. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, because you know, you can go on the YouTubes. Oh, I, I, you know, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I go on YouTube for other things. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you can't find my jokes on YouTube. Psych, you can. <laughs> ABCS, baby. Right. Average blows better spirits, goddammit. But anyway, I, I believe we can learn from animals or at least appreciate the things that they do. So, and uh, like, our topic today is mental health. And I'm like, do animals experience anything like mental health related? And to my surprise, they do. I, sorry, if it seemed like I got happy about that. Well, I, mean, I was happy to, like, read. Anyway, uh, let me get into it. So, um, <laughs> No, Mil- it. Military dogs, right? They yeah. have been known to suffer from PTSD. Mm. Unfortunately, too often dogs that return from war with PTSD are immediately euthanized. But vets are working on like a training method to help these dogs emotionally recover, so they don't they don't have to put the dogs down. So you're telling me that these military dogs get trained to go into the military to to fight, and then they kill them as right. soon as they get back. Yes, as soon as they get back, mm-hmm. I, I, I could ca- cry. I could right cry, now. but it's mixed emotions though, just because like um. Mm-hmm. It, Obviously, assuming that their euthani- euthanization, however you say that word, their mm-hmm. practices is like up to par and like they're doing it humanely and all that. Um, like if, if an animal is suffering, it is best to, you know, yeah. so, so like it, it, it's the best of not the best of both worlds. But like, yeah, I could cry here, but then I can also like, I right, thank you guys for doing something that's that was yeah, needed. Take, yeah, taking action. That, that is a dope uh 
way that's, to look at it. Because I, I, I was just more on the sky side. I, I could just cry. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> kind of well, messed yeah. up. I mean, they do it. They do like it all I this said, for us. Like I said. <laughs> She's still on the Mufasa. Yeah. 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 Jinx, okay. knock on nothing. Kai, you owe me a soda. <laughs> knock on nothing. You don't give me a chance. Knock on nothing. Why would I do that? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, birds, uh, they have their own forms of depression, uh, anxiety, and stress. And they stress from overexcitement, boredom, and uh, it can cause captive birds. They the way that they uh, exhibit that signs of depression, they like pluck their feathers. Mm. I don't know if you, I've seen that before, but yep. I didn't know what was going on. Now I know what's going on. They're like, oh, what the, f- I hate being here or whatever they were saying. You know, it makes Aww. sense though, because like with uh, humans, right? Like we'll start either like self harming or, or yeah, 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 they, yeah. they got into that. that or comparison. like even like smaller things, like twirling your hair. Like that's mm. like an anxious thing. Like sometimes I twirl my hair. We taught like, as men, we're taught to think that that's when the uh, the female likes you. Know that? Oh yeah, oh, that's like bull. This. Yeah, yeah any type this? of playing with your hair. Don't care what you doing now, with your hair. Kyle, look, now, now I know Shorty been stressed out the whole time. <laughs> Meanwhile, right. I'm like, I'm finna yeah. make my move. You, yeah. <laughs> Not you thinking they're interested. <laughs> really, they're having a panic attack. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was like, it's going down tonight. Hey, <laughs> different strokes yeah. for different folks. <laughs> Real talk. Well, good thing I'm married because uh, shit, <laughs> that would be hard to navigate. But the last one, and it was my my favorite one because you can actually you can look this one up. So um, it was this orangutan named Tori. Well, first, the, the, the fact was orangutans can suffer from addiction. Mm. So this specific thing that I looked up, and I looked it up on YouTube, and you could see it, and it was crazy to me. It's a orangutan named Tori she, in a zoo, and she got a, 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 she got a hold of a pack of cigarettes, and she started mimicking her keepers, and she became addicted to cigarettes. Right. And she started smoking these cigarettes, like, but like for years. Like they, and they were letting her do They're saying she got a hold of it, but it's like people are just throwing like lit cigarettes mm-hmm. into, uh, what would you call it, like their, their area where she's at. Mm-hmm. And anyway, they, they did eventually uh, give her the rehab, but their former rehab, because I looked into it, like, what did they, what was her rehab? And her former rehab, they just, like, separated her from her Isolation? and her partner, yeah, her and her, yeah, her partner with from everybody else. And, I mean, it didn't, I tried to look, like, did it actually work? How do they know it worked? Or, because, like, that that's dangerous, right? They let uh, orangutan smoke cigarettes for years. Now, they don't even know, like, the effects of take just taking it away from because all they did was basically just take it away from her. And like, who knows what's what's going to happen or what has happened? I don't know if she's still alive, but Tori. Uh, right, that's something you gonna have to find out. What the story yeah, right. has to have a resolve. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, like, they were, you know, because it's it was older. It was like from 2000, 2012, like the original oh, okay. story. Nothing like when I looked it up, nothing said that like she's um, dead or anything like that. But yeah, I guess I do have to find. Uh, it just reminds me how like um, how we as humans have a long way to go. Like that's that. Right, but look, look, she started mimicking that. But like, what if they were doing other things that you she decided to mimic that? Like what? Huh? Like what? Punching people in the face. Like they, they do that. They do. <laughs> a ring thing, not just punching people in the face. I, you go in, you go into their what you, enclosure. See what happens. Your ass. <laughs> that is so interesting. I never even thought about animals because you know I have an emotional support animal for myself, and I always joke like, look at my look at my emotional support animal needing emotional support because mm. <laughs> <laughs> because my cat Milo gets crazy. Oh wait, how do you spell that? And M I L O like the Colombian chocolate. So yeah, I mean my cat, I just pronounce it Milo, but same yeah, name. What, what color is your cat? Uh, color coordinator. He's like he's a mix, so he's like got brown, gray, black. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. We'll say the, the brown, white. I was finna hit you with uh, uh, the the basic, but um, yeah. Sorry. Basic no, color it's... combination. Well, no, but the, I don't know. I never seen brown and oh yeah, all yeah. Other colors. He, Gray. He, all the <coughs> he all the colors together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Milo. Yeah, shout out to Milo. He Milo. Broke cat, God damn it, yeah. cat. <laughs> <laughs> and he, you know, but I do joke about him like having anxiety, but it's true because like. He'll be every time I come home, he'll be screaming by the door, like waiting for me to open the door. Like he needs me to be there. And once I'm there, he's mad chill. But if I'm not there, he's crying at the door. Right. And that's anxiety. Like he's having separation anxiety from his from his mama, which I love for (laughs) personally, for me, selfishly. Like, yeah, when I come home, there's somebody that loves me that much. Not me. Not me and my my cat. Like and I can appreciate that lady. you um, acknowledge that as selfish. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah, hundred percent. I would much rather him just be chill all the time. But like we have a bond, and I guess when it's not there, like he feels the separation. Um, but I it didn't really uh, like like pull together that that animals, animals in that general too. could go through that. And I said in the, our, we had a, a whole animal episode, and like there was a long time that I went <clears throat> without even knowing that like animals were smart. 
Like, I just thought, like, they're just You said you didn't to... know animals had brains. Um, and smart, intelligent. Well, like, but you can have a brain and not sort of be right. intelligent. Well, when right. I think of brains, I think that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Like Intelli- intellect, yeah. yeah. So I when just I think of brains, I think of that. I'm not going to say that. And then, uh, go ahead, what'd you say? Uh, okay, what you want to get into? <laughs> no, I was, so I was going to, uh, also with animals, um, cats, uh, they were on the list, and it's just said, like, uh, cats have, like, OCD. If you ever know, and that made sense to me. Like you see them licking everything, they trying to get OD yeah, clean. They're clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clean this uh, yeah. right. Yeah, I appreciate uh, cats. You don't need. You can leave. Not your cat because he's gonna be uh, crying. <laughs> Mila gonna be crying. <laughs> but, like, you know, you can go Damn, somewhere for not two Mila days. Be crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. You said I know. <laughs> you can go somewhere for a couple days and stuff. Yeah. And, um, oh, that actually happened on accident. To uh, when me and you lived together, we went mm-hmm. to Delaware. We left. Um, Ali, we sorry, man. We did not know you was in the room, sir. Like, what were you doing in there? But we ended up leaving him in the room, so he didn't have access to his food. He didn't have access to his water. This guy, long? bro. It's two days. Well, I mean, that's still, that's bad. Days? I don't two know days. why he, why you decide to say that today when she's here. <laughs> Read the room. Read the room. <laughs> uh, I'm being days, honest. No yeah. access to food or water for two days. Yeah. You lucky that cats can survive right. that. Right. I, we, I, we did not know. Like, we, you know, I, we thought we did a great <laughs> oh thing. We left Jesus. out like a big ass buffet of food, big ass thing of water just to get back in. My boy was yeah. like, wow, what the fuck y'all want? Do you have a napkin? I think I think we're gonna need to give Sky a napkin. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, out here. I might shed some tears. <laughs> Lord. You know, the whole time my heart has been like, hey, please don't tell the story. Please don't tell the story. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I gotta go it home to Ali, sir. He wasn't even registering with me. He was like, you know, blah blah blah, no food, no water. I said, excuse me, I'm sorry, but for how many days? You said days. Now? Guys, I don't tell him. If I didn't tell it, and Ali seen this video, come on, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you could give me the lumps. <laughs> Milo, I would never do that to you. She's bro. lying. <laughs> Look, Look, we would <laughs> never do that again. We learned. That's we offended. learned. Check all rooms before you go. Make sure the cat's not in the locked room. Okay. That's correct. G- got his own space now. God damn it. Ali, I apologize. My lord, it never happened to you. So, I mean, shit. <laughs> it soon come. No. I, that's how he said it. It never happened to you. Soon come. No. I said, so you good, sir. <laughs> so, uh, Ooh, so, uh, y'all, ca- need, y'all need an animal sitter. Just hit my line. No, no. Oh, I, I am, uh, Fresco. He good upstairs. Anyhow. Okay. Hold on. Do you, you got, you have a support cat, ma'am. Um, we gonna yeah, do this uh, on air real quick. Uh, yeah. Do you want another cat? <laughs> uh, Milo, I, I Milo can meet another, Milo. I could take another cat, but Milo would eat it a lot. You, you think so? Yeah. I don't know. Ali used to try to eat Milo, and they might connect on that level. Oh, anyway, no. I, so, so uh, you trying to get rid of cats? He, he, uh, uh, get rid of is a wild. Uh, yeah, I don't say use. get rid of. Just uh, <laughs> my wife. Um, we can do this off air. Yeah, so, we can okay. do it over. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes um, to mental health, how do you feel someone could be above average? All right. So according to N. I M H dot N I H dot gov. Woo! It was hard to see that with these shades. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Mental health illness and or issues are common. About one in five adults live with them. So that's that comes out to about 21%. So I was happy and looking that up, it says 19.2% of people receive some form of treatment. So shout out to all of you. You are all above average for doing something about it. Being above average when it comes to mental health to me is just taking action to help yourself or others. Be that ear, that hug, or tell someone, talk to someone. You'll be better off for it. Like Kai said in a previous episode, people don't know what you don't tell them. And like the beast Marshawn Lynch said, protect your mentals. And uh, right on. <laughs> Sky, um, do you want to give your opinion how someone could be above average when it comes to mental health? No, I think that's pretty spot on to, to <clears throat> be able to separate the illness from the person and to take it on like you would take on how I would take on a broken leg. <laughs> uh, is that means receive important. help right yeah, away. That's growth. That's strength. Um, and there's power in that. So I would say that that's that is above average. Okay, respect. So now like we're getting ready to close out the show, and how we do that is with information a guru will make you pay for. I said guru if that was too fast. I um, mean, what this is is um <laughs> usually people they come up on some type of influence and they try to take off people's ignorance. Um, remember people, ignorance is expensive. The less you know, the more you will pay. And um, usually like they'll sell you classes, courses, or sometimes in person sessions of. Basic information, or Sky sometimes information that doesn't work at all. Mm-hmm. So today, this is for anyone who wants to get back in touch with their instincts, and um, they you for whatever reason you believe a therapist is the only answer. Although that therapist, they may be able to assist you before you spend your hard-earned dollar-dollar bills, yo. I suggest you to hear my opinion first. So I have two um ways where you can do that, and then the number one thing is this. So one. <clears throat> Understand that living in the now is what you seek. 
Life is full of distractions. Getting in touch with your instinct instincts means eliminating distractions. These are my opinions, by the way. Number two, now I'm going to give you some suggestions how you can get in touch with your instincts. <clears throat> Number two, use a basic GPS system. Oftentimes, people don't know how to travel 30 minutes away from home without using a GPS, right? I'm talking about the GPS that's basically like virtual reality, where it'll tell you where you at right now and like just direct you all the way to your destination. Don't use that, all right? Use the ones that tell you like, Five miles make a right turn. Because what that would do is now you're going to spend time looking for the street that you're looking for, but you are being alert. You are aware. All right. Number three, go jogging with no headphones. I understand tempo motivates us and how fast you go sometimes, right? However, you should be able to hear your breaths, be in touch with your body. Different breathing noises mean different things, but you probably never noticed that because you always had your headphones in. Living in the now, goddammit, so jog, jog without your headphones. Now, if you are already in touch with your instincts, that is beautiful. I encourage you to share your journey and how you got there because it can inspire someone and someone will want to repeat what you did, all right? However, if you are about to dial that number that your cousin gave your friend to give to you to get in touch with a therapist to help you get back in tune with your instincts just know that what i just shared with you is information that they might make you pay for now sky um if people want to get in touch with you to connect or follow you to connect where can they do so and how can they do so uh probably on my socials uh twitter any all cross all boards twitter tiktok instagram uh sky verbs s-k-y-e-v-e-r-b-s and do we have your permission to put that in the show notes? Yeah. All righty. So listen, and always remember being competitive is a positive attribute. Being average, average is a choice. Average blows. Ooh.